Hi there. I'm all wrapped up warm today because it's freezing. Um, right, I want to share with you uh, Trading Darkness uh, by Lisa Hoffman. It has a new cover since I received this. The new cover is more... I, I actually prefer this one, but the new cover is more beautiful and ethereal, um, which suits the book very well. This is totally worth a read. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, I did at one point have to write down who everybody was because people... Uh, it's a fairy tale, it's fantasy for adults, not uh, not for children. Um, but a real sort of, um, a, yeah, a, a proper fairy tale um, with villains and goodies and darkness and light and, and that constant tension um, between finding balance in the world. I absolutely loved it. Uh, as I say, I did have to write down who was who because people swap roles. So... Uh, one person becomes another person who's already a character in the book so I did get a little bit uh, I didn't get lost but because I was picking it up and putting it down um, I had to just remember who, who was who in that moment so I did start to just have a little uh, a little look I would have loved a map I, I, I like a map at the beginning of a book um, and so if I was going to add anything to it um, I would love a map because the the kingdoms and the travel between the kingdoms is was for me quite important to get my to get my head around where everybody was um, and where they were in relation to each other. Um, but essentially, it's a it's a tale of um, you know an ancient curse that comes into being, um, and a father has to choose which of his children um, he will hand to the darkness to save the whole of his kingdom. Um, and he, he decides he can't make that choice, so he flees. And so the uh, he uh, things happen and the choice then comes to his brother, um, who does make a choice and then has to live with that choice. It's really gripping. I loved the... Um, I loved the the feel of it. it it's it's sort of claustrophobic, but I mean that in a good way. Um, and I love that that I knew I just knew it was going to be okay. I knew that something I wasn't sure what, but I, I did get that that sense that it was going to pan out, that everything would end as it should. Um, and that's what I think uh, fairy tales do. That's what I think fairy tales are for. They take you to the darkness and they show you what it could be and then they bring back the light. And so I, I think um, I loved that there was that pattern to it, that I, I, I was confident, thank goodness I, I got to the end, um, I was confident that there would be, you know, this balance would return, that there would be a way to get around it. I just loved it. There are lots and lots of threads and there are lots and lots of um, interconnections and you it's that slow realisation that you know who that is or you know what happened. And as, and as that all starts to knit together, um, you get this sense of, of oh, that's so-and-so, and oh, I know, I know what's going to happen there, or I know what did happen in history. Um, and it's sometimes that good people do horrific things for love. Um, and then sometimes, you know, people do things... It, it's that a passion, I suppose, and that's really well done here, um, the, the depth of feeling from love, from loss, from grief, from anger, from revenge, all those really strong, strong emotions are all in here and all explain why people behave uh, the way they do. Um, and naivety is in there, which is also, I think, quite important for a fairy tale, you know, that we don't always, uh, that children don't question as much as adults and that um, children perhaps are not as fearful um, as adults as well um i i really really enjoyed it i th i thoroughly enjoyed it um so much so that um i'm going to explore lisa hoffman's other work she's got another series um i do struggle to fit things in in between this is average reviewing so um so yes i need to find a little bit where i can um put in uh uh, some of her other work because I want to read more. I think she's a very talented lady. Lovely.